we needed to provide a mechanism for developers uh, to rapidly prototype and deploy uh, services that uh, all the way to production um, pretty fast. We had a big initiative to take on uh, with uh, a lot of the cloud uh, capabilities. The CNCF was important to our decision uh, regarding vendor neutrality and momentum going forward because of the ability to convince upstream um, sponsorship at Bose. This was a collective uh, with a community around it and uh, there was a lot behind it. And we are even attracting much more talent uh, into Bose because of the, la the CNCF landscape, because that we're so involved with it, and really brought Bose into the, the future of, of cloud. We have uh, several microservices and even more that are coming out within six months of when getting on Kubernetes. For example, we have you know over 1,800 namespaces just in you know, one of our, our live production clusters. Um, in addition to Kubernetes, uh, the biggest example is Prometheus. Um, there's a lot that we're doing with open tracing and uh, things like Envoy are becoming um, very interesting for us as well. The articles that are always published, the blogs, uh, the landscape to, uh, is of a special uh, importance because it's able to um, quickly explain what's going on in all the different areas uh, from storage, from cloud providers to automation and so forth. The thing that's been a big help is the community and the meetups that take place in the local areas. The last, of course, is Slack, uh, CNCF Slack and Kubernetes Slack, uh, where you can reach anybody who's the lead developer of anything and quickly talk and get a question answered. We have a lot going on to support many more of our business units uh, at uh, Bose. It's only possible just because of the cloud-native landscape and the tools and the features that are available um, that we can provide such an, a fantastic uh, cloud platform for all the developers. Uh, the biggest next thing um, are uh, really adopting a very strong production experience uh, when it comes to service mesh and when it comes to serverless. It's a really good time in the serverless space too uh, with Knative. Um, and the workflows it enables. And so this is, this is uh, on our short list for roadmap. That's where we're headed, so that's great. Uh, the advice I'd give to other companies considering Kubernetes and Cloud Native is training, and it will, it will pay off very quickly. Yeah.